What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something really fun. We're actually having a little sleepover. I'm heading over to my friend Sabrina's house. You guys have seen her a bunch of times in my videos. The twist is I'm bringing Crystal and Journey. This is something that I've wanted to do for a while. Sabrina has two babies that were born this year as well. And I really want Journey to have that experience with other foals, you know, just kind of like play with other babies. And here there's no other babies. So I really wanted to like make that happen for him. So we're kind of going to do a little play date. They're both gonna sleep over with me and I'm so excited to see just like how he reacts He never got the chance to be turned out with other babies to be completely honest I am kind of nervous as well just because I don't know how crystal's gonna react Like I don't know if she's gonna freak out because she hasn't really had other horses around her and her baby either So I don't know if she's gonna get really aggressive and protective or if the other mares are gonna get really aggressive And maybe try and hurt journey, but I really want to do this We're gonna be there supervising and everything we're gonna keep an eye on them all night So yeah, I really want to just let him be a baby and play with other babies like you guys I'm so excited her other two babies are mares they're both little fillies so he's gonna be the only boy hopefully he doesn't mount them and stuff like I doubt it but he has tried to mount crystal a bunch of times but when I was staying at the repro vet all the foals were turned out together like it didn't matter if they were fillies or colts everyone was turned out together and the colts really didn't jump on the fillies like they would do it to their own moms but not like the other babies so I doubt he'll do that but we'll see now the first thing I have to do is load them into the trailer which is gonna be a mission on its own just because I've mentioned it a couple of times journey doesn't like the trailer it sucks that he hates the trailer because like I can't really train him right now once he gets older like and we start weaning him and stuff I know he'll get over it like it's gonna be fine we'll see how this goes I already packed my bag with my laptop and some clothes and stuff the trailers already hitched so now I'm gonna go ahead and pack some stuff for them I'm really not gonna pack too much just like grain just cuz crystal eats grain I think Sabrina already has hay over there let's see what they're doing he's all the way over there with his mama hi journey boy they have no idea what What's gonna happen today I'm so excited oh and another thing I really wanted to focus on was making sure I got there during the daytime just so that they can see everything see where the fence is you know see the other horses because at night they won't be able to see anything it's like pitch black and we won't be able to see anything so I better get started before it gets dark I always get started really late Okay, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not sure if I actually want to feed her grain because it's a new environment. I don't want her to colic or anything. I don't know. What should I do? There's not really much I have to bring. I mean, they're just going to be out in a paddock with other horses. You know what? I think I'll just bring a bucket of grain just in case. And that's it. How do you pack grain? <laughs> thinking about putting it in a plastic bag but I think just like filling up a bucket and just taking the bucket like that in the trailer is fine I got my bucket let's do that <laughs> Okay, so my bucket is filled up. I literally just filled it all the way to the brim. Oh, look who decided to join. Hi, guys. Did you hear the grain? Is that why you're here? Cute little boy. Yep. She's trying to steal my grain. Anyway, as I was saying, we're going to be staying there two nights. So it's going to be Wednesday night, which is tonight, then Thursday night, and then we'll leave on Friday. So I don't even think I need to bring that much grain. So I just filled it to the top. I'm just going to sprinkle it into her bucket every morning and every evening, just a little bit. But yeah, that would be it. I thought I had to like pack a whole thing, but all I'm bringing for them is grain. And this little munchkin is trying to eat my camera. Yes, little nipper. Hmm? Anyway, are you guys ready? We're gonna have a little sleepover with other mamas and babies. Excuse me, you stealing the grain? You know what? The fact that he's like so interested in it right now, I'm gonna use that to my advantage and keep it away from him so I can use it to load him into the trailer, right? We're gonna do that, baby. <laughs> <laughs> way easier than I thought it was gonna be. I guess this little munchkin was in a good mood today. I just threw some grain there for Crystal as a reward. I gave him some too. Cause you did so good little munchkin, you did. All right, are you guys ready for our sleepover? I'm excited. Okay. That was so much better than I thought it was gonna be. I am so shocked at how well he did. Like, wow, we're improving, we're improving. <laughs> I'm already sweating, you guys, it is so hot. But we are all loaded and ready to go. I'm trying to think if I'm forgetting anything. 
No, I think that's it. A few moments later. We are at our first stop. I'm about to put some gas in the truck and I want to see how they're doing in there. Hello there. Oh, he's looking out the window. I'm gonna go around just to see the little face. Hi there. How's it going? How's the ride, huh? Is it a bumpy ride? <laughs> You're doing so good, Journey. Look at you. Okay. <laughs> So the truck is full of gas, the horses are doing great, so let's get going. Alright you guys, we are here. I actually want to show you the paddock and Sabrina's babies. So you can see them before I like bring out my baby. <laughs> so here is the pasture. I'm so excited for them to be in a bigger pasture that actually has grass. And here are her little babies. We have one little girl right here and then the other little baby. You can see her walking off right there. You guys, I am so excited to see their reaction. Sabrina's gonna come out in a second to help me unload them, but I'm so excited. Hello. Are you excited? You have no idea what's going on, huh? We're just waiting for Auntie Sabri to help me unload you. All right, Sabrina. Look at my sunburn, look at this. Hold you on. can't curse on my videos, man. I just did, man. I'm gonna bleep <laughs> it out, I'm gonna bleep it out. But anyway, she's here, we're gonna unload them. We're really excited, so we're doing this like super fast. I just, I can't wait. You know what, let me go in there and put the lead ropes on first. All right, little munchkin. Hi, mama. Oh my God, this is so exciting. So much is going on. Good? Yeah. Crystal. Don't get it full of poop. Don't get it full of poop. All right, come on, little babies. Listen, this is not gonna beat up my horse, right? I I honestly don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> I don't want to promise anything. Oh, that horse was over me. that was kind of dumb, Journey. Are you good? He <laughs> like freaking slip and slide out of the trailer. Look, look. what is that? Horse. It's Sabrina. You're so gross. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, good. Good. Good girl, mama. Oh, look at look at her pinning her ears. You don't run out. Crystal, Crystal, pay attention. Okay, are we letting them go? Are you ready for this, guys? This is the moment of truth. Ready? Okay. Hello. <laughs> All right, guys. One, two, three. <gasps> three. 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 Thank you. Oh my gosh. I don't think they've noticed yet. Hi there. Oh my gosh. Is this gonna stay? Because that's beautiful. I literally have hor your horse everywhere. Just wipe it on the fence. Oh, he's so excited to see green grass. Our paddock's only dirt. This is heaven right now. I haven't like baby proofed the other oh. ones. And it's like too big for me to freaking. I mean, it's I have so to do it. so much work to freaking baby I know. Proof. Hello, you guys go play. You guys are gonna be boring like this? Oh, they're looking at each other. I didn't even notice. They're all so like safe, you know, they like keep to themselves. So guys, this is little Stella. I was there when she was born. You're the cute. I need a, oh, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. Look at Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> He's Look a little, oh, he oh my gosh. He's a little stud baby. Oh my goodness, look at all these girls, Journey Boy. Look at his little prancing around. Oh, look at Promise. Hi, Promise. Dude, she's so stocky. Look at her butt. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there you go. This is what I wanted to see. Oop. Oh my god. Crystal and him are like twins. If he didn't have that white line, easy. out of me why are they that color oh my god i thought like he broke his leg or like was bleeding or something he's still shedding that's why oh my god but why is it so light i don't know 
That's cool. Yeah, he has little, <laughs> it's like little ear whiskers. <laughs> he has a, a long mane. Well, he's four months old, so he's way older. Like he's what, older. like two months older than yours or yeah. a month? All right, guys. So they are officially settled in in the pasture. They're doing so good. Like they're totally calm. I thought they would freak out a little bit just because it's a new place, but they're doing really good. And Journey is so cute. He was like prancing around and Crystal's being totally fine. I thought the babies would kind of interact a little bit more, but they're all kind of doing their own thing. So yeah, we're going to come back out and check on them a little bit later but for now i'm gonna go inside and just chill eventually all right guys so we just hung out inside for a while i thought it'd be a good idea to come out and check on them we're gonna go watch the sunset too but i oh they're they're like on the opposite side of the whole pasture they're being loners you guys they're like on the opposite side of the pasture all the other babies are over here napping and they're being loners all the way over there <laughs> that has like the best sunset ever. I don't know if you guys can see it behind me, but I miss riding. This is like the perfect shot. This is like a like a scene in um Heartland. <laughs> So we are back from our little UTV ride. It was a lot of fun and beautiful, honestly. Now I want to go give Crystal and Journey a treat. They're just grazing and being super chill. I thought she might be nervous. You guys know Crystal loves to pace. So I'm like, maybe she'll be like super nervous. But they're doing perfectly fine. They're all getting along. They're all minding their own business. There's no fighting, nothing like that. Yeah, I'm going to see if I have treats to give them. I want to go see how they're doing. And I don't. I don't have treats. I'm just going to give them a handful of grain. I just want to go over there with something, you know? Okay. Hi, Journey boy. Hi there. Are you enjoying this huge pasture? Hi, baby boy. I brought you some treats. Well, some grain. You want some grainies? Are you enjoying all the grass? Yeah.
All right, you guys. So as you guys can see, Darla is pretty protective over her area. So I think she's keeping them away. But luckily, they're not like physically fighting. She's just kind of like pinning her ears. But once Crystal kind of like moves away, then it's fine. Like they're not actually fighting. So that's a good sign. I'm going to go ahead and head inside. It's getting really dark. The sun is setting. I think they're going to be fine throughout the night. I'm excited to see them tomorrow morning. I'll just maybe come and check on them like at night night when it's like dark outside with a flashlight. And if not, I'll just see them in the morning. It's honestly so cool to see them run and play. I'm so glad I brought them. It's just so cool to see them run around and eat grass and just kind of like interact with other horses. Before I go inside, I want to show Crystal where the water is because she has a history of like not finding the water when we take her to new places. So I'm just going to splash it around a little bit so she kind of gets an idea of like where it is in case she gets thirsty. She looked over when I splashed, so I think she's fine. I think she knows where the water is. <laughs> Actually, I totally forgot that she has a halter on and I could just walk her over to the water. <laughs> I actually get a lot of comments about why I turn them out with the halter on. I usually don't. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you know that our horses don't wear halters. But these are breakaway halters. The one that the baby's wearing and Crystal, they're both breakaways. So that's why I have been turning them out. Because I totally agree. I don't think that turning your horses out with halters on is safe. There have been crazy accidents where horses get caught on things and choke themselves. So yeah, these are both breakaway halters. Hi there, honey buns. I'm bringing you to the water. But yeah, for those of you that have left those comments, I know I had a lot of comments of people concerned. They're both breakaway halters, and I usually don't leave them on all the time. Now it's because we're in a new place, but yeah. She's kind of freaking out at something, but I'm trying to show her the water. A few moments later. So I showed her the water. She wasn't really thirsty at the moment, but at least now she knows where it is in case she does get thirsty. But I'm going to go ahead and go inside. We're going to make some dinner, watch some movies, and yeah, it's going to be a little fun sleepover. A slumber party. <laughs> All right, you guys, I am back inside and we have started on dinner. I'm going to go ahead and start slicing some tomatoes. Look how cute this cutting board is. It's a horsey. <laughs> Dinner is really, really. <laughs> All right, guys, dinner is ready. Made by the Brazilian chef. I made that, but she taught me how to make it, so I don't even know if it counts. <laughs> Eventually. All right, you guys, we have finished eating. Dinner was really good. Now I'm gonna go outside and check on the horses, see how they're doing. I honestly don't know if we're gonna be able to see anything just because it's so dark, but I'm gonna film it anyway just in case you can see a bit. All right, you guys, I got my flashlight. I think I see them. Oh, there they are. Hi, baby boy. They're eating some hay. I don't know if you guys can see them over here. Oh, they're doing so good. Hi, guys. So cute. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 